بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما يا أرحم الراحمين My topic today is how to localize the prosthetic or replaced heart valve Sometimes it is difficult, but I, wa I would like to make it simplified. This is the frontal chest X-ray of the patient. With normal chest X-ray, you see the lungs are clear, and this is the cardiac cell which is within normal. With first, we draw a line from the right cardiophrenic angle to the left hilum. The valve located above that line, it is either aortic valve or pulmonary valve. The valve located below this line, it is mitral valve or tricuspid valve. And then we draw another line, it is vertical to the midline of the spine. The superior part of the if the valve it is located in the superior aspect, it is the pulmonary valve, and if it is located a little bit down above here, it is the aortic valve, and if it is located on the left side, this is the mitral valve, and this is here, it is located on the if it is located here, it is the tricus valve. I think this is the most important how to localize the replaced, replaced valve of the heart. Sometimes there is another line, you can draw another line from, from here, cardiac apex to the left main, to the left hilum or to the main bronchus, and above that line it is the pulmonary and aortic valve and below the line it is mitral and tricuspid valve here as you see this is the aortic valve replaced above the red line and this is the mitral valve below the red line there is another method it is here also you see you do a vertical line transecting the spine and another vertical line transecting the the heart and uh, below that transverse line you have the bank this is the mitral valve and the yellow this is the tricuspid valve and here the superior part it is the pulmonary valve the green one and the blue one is the aortic valve let us take some real examples here if you do a line from the right cardiophrenic angle to the left hilum and you see that valve it is it is below that line and this is the mitral valve and also you notice the direction of the valve tell you that the valve is a mitral valve also here you see prominent of the or enlargement of the right left atrium and enlarged of the left atrial appendage the lungs are clear here you see, if you draw a line from the right cardiophrenic angle to the left hilum, you see two valves. And if you do another line, transecting the spine, we have the left to the to the spine, left to the vertical line. This is the mitral valve and also direction. And this tell you that this is the mitral valve. And there is another annuloplasty of the tricuspid. It is lateral to the line on the right side. And the patient has sternotomy sutures with cardiac enlargement. 
another version here you see this is if you to insect vertical line through the spine midline of the spine and you have two valves and both are below the line below it the one between the right cardiophonic angle and to the left hilum left to the vertical line this is the mitral valve and right to the vertical line this is the tricuspid valve here as you see this is two valve replacement if you draw a line from the right cardio cardiophonic angle to the left hilum one is above the above the line and one it is below the line the above the line it is smaller than the below the line the above the line it is aortic valve and below the line it is larger and the direction of the flow tell you that it is mitral valve also incidentally the patient has a pacemaker with single lid associated with cardiac enlargement thank you very much hoping you will be benefit from this mini talk video